watching the 3D Bookmaker Duckcast Racing League. Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Rally Championship. Here we are for the second half of round one and the first event of season three. The first half was a little one-sided with Esteban Race and Big West completely dominating their heats. They also got some really big air. They certainly did, but you know there's more to the DRC than just big air. Uh, no there is not. The DRC is all about that big air. Who's with me? Well then we have a treat for you because today we'll be seeing the return of the DRC champion Big Air Dylan. Oh yeah, I cannot wait to see what he does in that new Evo. This race is brought to you by Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a 5v5 mech shooter that you can play on just about any device. It's casual, a lot of fun to play, looks good, and I can play with everyone I know. Okay, so we've been playing Mech Arena, and I gotta know, what's your favorite mech? My favorite is the Guardian. It can carry some super heavy weapons, and I love its ability to shut down enemy shields. That is a nice ability, but I think I have to go with Kill Shot. So you're all about the speed. Well, I am known for racing, and Kill Shot is the fastest mech in the game. Plus, it has the melee dash ability which means you could just smash into other mechs. Fast speeds and smashing, that mech fits your personality quite well. I'll take that as a compliment. Mech Arena has a lot of fun things going on this month, including special Easter and Golden Week events. All you have to do is participate to get new weapons, skins, and a lot more. Mech Arena is getting big, and that means bigger prizes and more fun. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android and iOS devices right now. Use our link or scan the QR code to get bonuses worth $45. We're talking 1 mil spec skin, 500 A coins, and 70,000 credits. And if you're quick, you can add me to your friends list so we can play some matches together. So don't wait around. Let's get to our first two drivers. We've got Tommy Swift in the 2011 Ford Fiesta. Tommy Swift will be racing against Hans Gruber, driving the Porsche 914 Safari. Now we've seen this car before in the DRC. Yes, we did. I believe it was in season two. The drivers are at the start and they're off. The first driver to win three races advances on to round two. Tommy Swift taking the early lead around that first corner. Here he goes down the slope. This is my favorite part. Tommy Swift up and over the jump. Here comes Hans Gruber. Hans looking for the pass. Tommy Swift slides out. Hans Gruber makes the pass. Oh, Tommy Swift, it's over. That leaves Hans Gruber all by himself. Here he comes to the final jump. And that's a womp womp at the end. Hey, it's a win. I need to see some air. Hey, his competition was already flipped over. There was no need for Hans Gruber to push that car any more than he needed to. He still got to win two more races. You don't want to wreck your car right now. Well, if he doesn't get more air in the next one, I'm going to boo him. That's very professional of you. Uh, joke's on you. I'm not a professional. Clearly. Look at this pass right here by Hans Gruber. Tommy Swift spun all the way around. Hans Gruber saw the opening, passed him, and left Tommy Swift on the side of the road. That's one win for Hans Gruber. He needs two more to advance on to round two. Here they go down the track for the second race. Tommy Swift once again taking the lead out of that corner. He's got the speed, he just needs to control it. Here comes down the slope. Nice landing on that jump. Here comes Han Gruber. Gruber knocking on the door, trying to get around Tommy Swift. Tommy Swift sliding but corrects it. Hans Gruber loses control. It's all Tommy Swift now. Maybe he'll get some big air. Here he comes. What was that? That was Tommy Swift winning the race. I think this is because you took away the point for the big air. We already discussed this in the meeting. If you looked at the scoreboards, the bonus points had no impact on who won the championship. The driver that won the most races was always on top. True, but it felt like it was important. Well, numbers don't really care about your feelings. Numbers are so cruel, especially the number eight. Okay. That is not a nice number. I'm not even gonna ask. It's a long story. Plus, using the big air distance to determine the starting positions on the final race in the case of a tie actually makes the big air more important than it was before. Huh. What about the hay bales? All eaten by a herd of cows. That's a shame. Here we go with race three. Tommy Swift once again in the lead. The score is currently tied one to one. Tommy approaching the first jump. Another good landing by Tommy Swift. He's got quite the lead on Hans Gruber. He's sliding again. That's going to slow him down. Here comes Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber gets Tommy Swift a bump. He should have went around him. Here comes Tommy to the finish line. Hey, that was a little better. This time, both drivers making it past the finish line. That's going to be the second win for Tommy Swift. One more, and he will move on to round two. We need to move this studio to the ski lodge because that's where all the big air action is really at. Hey, keep in mind, big air Dylan is up next. Don't let me down, Dylan. Do not let me down. Hans Gruber assisting Tommy Swift down the track. I'm pretty sure that's not what he wanted to do. And here we go with race four. Tommy Swift one win away from advancing. Hans Gruber has the inside lane. There they go down the track. Hans Gruber with a slight lead. 
Tommy Swift on his outside. He's catching up. He's passing him. Through turn one, Hans Gruber back in front. Let's see some air. Hey. Whoa, Tommy Swift passes mid-air. That was nice. Hans Gruber stalls out. It's all Tommy Swift now. He just has to pass the finish line. Here he comes down the final hill around the corner. He's got some speed. Here we go. Ah. A C, maybe a C plus for that jump. Well, either way, Tommy Swift did what he needed to do to move on to the next round. That will be our second Ford Fiesta moving on to the semifinals. Take a look at this overtake. Tommy Swift passing in the air. Hans Gruber was not expecting that. He loses control, and it was all over from there. Here's the bracket. Three drivers have already made it through to the next round. There's one more spot. So let's get right into the next race. All right, this is what I've been waiting for. He's a driver who goes by one name. He does not drink Red Bull because he already has wings. It's the B to the A to the D, former champ of the DRC, Big Air Dylan. Let's go, Big D. Big Air Dylan will be driving against rookie driver Oliver Matthew in the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Poor, poor Oliver Matthew. I'm afraid he doesn't stand a chance against Big Air Dylan. Well, we haven't seen Oliver Matthew drive before, so we don't know if he's good or not. Exactly. Nobody knows this guy. What's his name again? His name it is It doesn't Oliver matter what his name is. Big Air Dylan is going to take that Audi Quattro, turn it sideways, and shove okay, it straight. Okay, you are too. Oh, look at that air. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You are dialed up to 10 right we now. We are in the presence of greatness. How can you be calm? I don't know. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. A big jump from Dylan. That's what I'm talking about, 3D. And not a bad That's jump. That's what I'm talking about. Not a bad yeah. jump. Okay, are you done? Woo. Did you drink a Red Bull today? I don't know what's in this cup. Okay, well, I'll take that. Can we get him a water? That run right there by Dylan is what the DRC is all about. Dylan pushing that car to the extreme. He was on two wheels for a minute there. Huge, massive error for the first jump. Goes big off the final jump. You know I hate politics, 3D, but I'm going to say it here right now. Big Air Dylan for president. Okay, well, uh, I don't think I have anything to add to that, so let's go on to race two. That's one win for Big Air Dylan. He'll be starting on the outside lane this time. Oliver Matthew on the inside. Oliver Matthew does not have a chance. I don't know. He did pretty well in that race. Oliver Matthew taking the lead around that first corner. Come on, Dylan. Here they go over the jump. Dylan trying to pass. No. He wipes out. No, no, that's not good. It's all Oliver Matthew now. He's looking fast, too. Come on, crash, Oliver, crash. We are not wishing harm on any driver. Yes. Oh. Oliver Matthew coming in a little too hot there. Almost goes off the track, but he slides past the finish line for the win. Big Air Dylan stuck over on his side on that tree. A tough break there for Dylan, but we still got more races to go. Let's see the replay. It appeared Dylan was trying to overtake Oliver Matthew in the air. He lands at a bad angle, bounces, then his front end hits the snow. Let's see that one more time. I got to give some credit to Oliver Matthew. He does seem to be pretty fast out there, but Dylan's still got more air. Well, of course, they don't call him big air for nothing. Here we go. The score is tied. This time, Dylan's starting on the inside lane. Oliver Matthew on the outside. A close race around the first bend. Dylan with a slight lead here. Here they go through the turn. Here we go. This is going to be good. Oh, oh he hits me. Oh, oh, no. Not again. Dylan wipes out on the turn again. Oliver Matthew once again finding himself all alone on the track. Let's see if he can make a clean line to the finish line. No, he can't. Oh, but that was some nice air. Yes, it was. Oliver Matthew getting that Audi up and over. Big air Dylan. I'm afraid he might be pushing it too hard here. That's the only way Dylan knows how to drive. Top gear, full speed, pedal to the metal. Go big or die trying. Well, that right there was a massive, massive jump. He just needs to land it, though. Yeah, well, landing hasn't been his strong point. That will put Oliver Matthew up by one point. One more, and he will be advancing on to the semifinal round to race against Tommy Swift. Dylan with the disadvantage here. He's starting on the outside lane. This is a do-or-die moment for Big Air Dylan and his career in the DRC. Oh, man. Come on, Dylan. Oliver Matthew taking advantage of that inside lane. He's pulling way ahead now. Come on, Dylan. Whoa! Oh, Oliver oh. Matthew goes soaring through the air. Wow. Dylan is right behind him. Come on, Dylan. They're going down the final hill. Oh, Oliver Matthew yes. wrecks. Yes. Dylan goes around him. Bring it home, Dylan. And Big Air oh, Dylan oh, 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 yes. takes it to the sky. That right there is what the French call Le Big Air. I don't know about that, but Dylan just tied the score. Here's the replay. Oliver Matthews soaring through the air. That was an impressive jump. But look at Dylan catching up on him. Dylan bumping his car. Right here, Oliver Matthews still has a nice lead. Dylan chasing him down the track. Then all of a sudden, Oliver Matthews hits the left side, bounces to the right, and just wipes out. And there goes Dylan lying in wait, waiting for the right opportunity to pass before taking flight on the final jump. Okay, so we have a tie. 
Like I said before, the Big Air is not dead. We are going to compare their jumps. The driver that jumps the farthest will get the inside lane advantage on the final tiebreaker race. Those were Oliver Matthews' two jumps. Let's see Dylan. Here's the moment of truth. Yes. And it will go to Dylan. That's what I'm talking about. The Big Air still rules in the DRC. We do have a guy coming next week to add some lines to the track for the Big Air. Oh, that's good. Along with a wider finish line arch. I remember Stephen King crashing into the last one. Okay, here we go. They're off for the tiebreaker race. Big Air Dylan on the inside lane. Look at that. Oliver Matthew passing up Dylan. Oh, come on, Dylan. This first jump has been a make or break for Dylan. Oliver Matthew goes way up. Dylan lands it. I hope Oliver Matthew doesn't crash. 2D. He gets loose. Yeah. Dylan passes on the inside. Yeah, baby. There's just one turn left. We got this. We got this. Here we go. To the oh, moon, 3D. My. To the moon. What a finish by Big Air Dylan. We choose to go to the moon, 3D. Not because it's easy, but because Big Air Dylan is one bad mother- Watch your mouth. I'm just talking about Dylan. I just gotta say, I did not expect to see so much action in the first round of this event. Whenever Dylan's on the track, it is gonna be action all day, every day. Big Air Dylan for life. Hats off to Oliver Matthew for giving the champ a run for his money. There you have it, the four drivers in the semifinals. Esteban Reyes, Big Wes, Tommy Swift, and Big Air Dylan. I cannot wait. We hope you've enjoyed this race of the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And you've been watching the DRC. DRC.